<laughs> okay, now, turn about his fair play. We've been talking about Marilyn Manson and uh, his uh, responsibility to society and so forth. Now, you also have a record app. And I have the lyrics to one of your songs, which I think is more irresponsible than anything on one of his records. Because well, it, shoot, go ahead. Yes, it says, it talks about condoms. Uh -huh. And it says, like the condoms we sell them, but we won't tell them, it ain't safe, even if you got them. So you're telling kids well, it ain't... That's not what it says. That's it's, what the lyrics well, is. See, don't rap, you know I they got holes? Listen. It says, don't you know they got holes you can't see? They might they stop might a stop baby, baby, but, but what it about hardly stops VD. That, that's right. That is correct. That's Condoms were never prevent. That is correct. You need to do your homework. You check the Centers for Disease Control. You check the Centers for Disease Control. You're when I testified before the Senate in Washington, D.C., as a there? Surgeon General, when I testified, it was true. Condoms were never designed to prevent people from getting anything except for pregnant. And we encourage people to use them to stop STDs. There are at least over 50 STDs, counting all the different strains that are out there. 20 of them, at least 20 of them, a condom really can't help you with. Condoms don't care. How could it stop what stops pregnancy without stopping everything else? Because the HIV virus is about 450 times smaller than a sperm cell. And, and if we magnify that, what about if we warts? magnify that, <laughs> what about that's about warts? the size of a football field would be the size so of one sperm cell So what you're telling horny teenagers is the, the only thing that you can do is be abstinent. And condoms don't work. So kids are not going to use condoms because they, they're going to listen to you and figure, well, why should we even use condoms? And that, to me, is irresponsible. No, no it's not. Sex it's responsible because I'm telling them the truth. No sex and we haven't told people the no, truth. No, you're making an irresponsible suppression of sex truth. throughout history that's made people so violent. I think. Wait a you're, that is the you're making the irresponsible. If you feel, if you feel guilty, it if you're feeling wrong. guilty about having I've sex, I've never known anyone who. The, everybody wants to have sex. The world's pregnant. created through sex. The irresponsible yes, this assumption is, this is, true, is and God the one that you made is that teenage children are going to have sex no matter what. That's not necessarily true at all. No, it's not. Oh, Gordon. It's not. You know what? It's, I had a lot. I had a lot of teenage companions when I was a teenager. Really? And they were not all running around getting laid. But he was also in prison, so he's got a different, <laughs> a little different yeah. outlook. But I was well, as good looking whatever. as you are. Uh, being, as far as being responsible, I take full responsibility for every word that I speak when I go out and I well, speak to thousands of young people. Well, this is going and on top of that, I'm encouraging them to do something that and is you good. You certainly know how to speak, Lakita. Let me tell you well, that. Thank well, let me ask you, you this. Let me ask you. this. Yeah. Oh, let me ask you this. If I don't get laid, can I sue her because of her lyrics? <laughs> <laughs> no, because I don't have anything. I don't have for anything you get. But I would invite you to come out and hang with me and some of my friends sometime. We can do oh. a show together. I'd like to. I'm open-minded. I don't protest Sunday schools. I would schools love. Or anything I like would that. love. For, I would love to have dinner and just okay. shoot the breeze with you. But aren't right. you, right, Nikita, Aren't you hoping and then that you you're... could be with Ted Kennedy one night? <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I just, I, aren't you hoping that your CD makes a lot of money just like Marilyn hopes that he does? Isn't that what it's about? No, it's not. What is it about? Because, because I've turned down more jobs than I have ever, I've turned down more jobs than I have ever worked because of I will not expose my body or I won't use foul language or I won't spread my legs for just any old Joe that comes around. I have yes. a standard that I live up to. And, you know, I'm very frank. I'm, fr I'm you know, up front. I'm very honest about I what hope, I believe. I hope that you will always be able to to uh, live like that. Well, you know what? I think I, we should encourage other people. I hope young you don't have do many challenges well. in life. Okay. I have very many challenges do in life. You? Yes, and I would like to come. I like for you to come to dinner with me and no, learn I think what it's the challenges admirable I've got to be. It's it's very and admirable to be tab. idealistic. You know, but I, I I want people to think. But I'm not trying to think I can save the world. You know, maybe the you world can't doesn't save deserve the world to be saved. You're not Christ. Maybe they only deserve to be oh, entertained now, before they're all destroyed. You can't judge who's Christ more. and who isn't. Energy. He may have more Christ in him than you do. You can't really say that. You will know a tree. And that's from Mrs. Brady. You will know a tree. All right, we got to take a break. We'll be right back.